Hello, my beautiful Pisces friends. Welcome to your June 16th through 30th, 2021 reading. This is a collective reading for all Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. Don't forget, all things Royal Mystic can be reached at royalmystic.com. So I will be having my retreat information up soon. So keep your eye out for that. Here we go. Ooh, Ten of Rods and the Page of Rods. So this is the burden being lifted, achieving the final trip to schlep this big old heavy load on your back. We're going to be able to lift the burden, release the struggle, and move forward. That little page is bringing you the news you need to allow you to let this go. So most of the time, this energy is talking about work, job, things like that, because it is the, the rod's energy. So that's a good start. Let's see what we've got going, Pisces. Thank you, angels, archangel, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses thank you so much for being present here to allow all pisces sun moon and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path we thank you so much divine for these blessings and beautiful messages and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended we thank you for this divine guidance as always and we welcome this blessed energy thank you so much divine you are always welcome and very appreciated so you had two pages. The page of cups came through with the page of um, rods. So the page of cups is the energy of kind of protecting some information or holding something uh, in a covered position so that you don't reveal it too soon. And there's nothing wrong with that. It just usually means uh, maybe you have a job already or you have something you're waiting to find out if it's come through and you don't want to say anything to jinx it yet. So that's really that kind of covered energy that's coming in. Now we have the hanged man. So this is saying look at everything from a different perspective. Allow yourself to look from the higher chakra, which is your crown chakra, and see things from soul sight rather than your human mind. So allow yourself to have that look, looking at the bigger picture. We've got the Aries Major Arcana, the Emperor, but it also means the masculine of the universe. So it's something showing up in the now. We've got the Queen of Swords, which is a beautiful energy of connection to source and being in a place of, if you're, if you're in a job interview, this is acing the job interview. Being on point, dialed in, following your instincts, and letting your light shine. The Scorpio Major Arcana, releasing all the toxic energy, kind of a purge of all negativity, clearing the slate, brand new fresh start, purification, and letting go of all the toxic old energy. And this little flower here is the energy of a new start. And there's the Ten of Wands, so we're releasing this burden. Hello, hello, goodbye, hello, right? So... Now we have the Gemini Major Arcana, the lovers. It also means soul bonding energy. Also can mean a calling if it's something that is a life calling for you. Um, and the lovers energy is ascension energy. And there's the nine of wands. So this is the whole thing is the burden is here to be ended. But sometimes when we let, we, we've got the end of the burden, sometimes our habit of carrying that burden doesn't quite let go all the way so you've got to be able to release when it's time to release you may have one last thing to do before you can actually lay it down and that's part of this energy the nine of, of rods well y'all have a lot of rods going here this is the seven of wands telling you to hang in there uh, don't settle for less than you deserve and don't give up That's great. The Ten of Swords goes right along with that Ten of Rods. This is about purging and releasing, my darlings. This is saying don't let the anxiety, negativity, toxic energy, or the feeling of, of being under attack, um, don't let it overtake you because this is the release. When you get a Ten, it's the end of a cycle. So you've got two of them here. And there's that little page. So you're ready. You're ready for the good thing to come through, but you're not ready to tell anybody about it yet. 
That's the new thing. This is a new job, my Pisces friends. <laughs> now, for some of you, this may be a new relationship because this is the burden ending. And sometimes it takes longer than you want for that to be able to shake the old. But that's the new start, the new flame, the feeling of new beginnings. And whether it's a new job or new relationship, it is passion energy. So, here we go. Allowing yourself to see things from a higher perspective allows you to see more. Being in a place of looking at all the landscape rather than just one little spot on the map. So allow yourself to see the entire bigger picture. And this emperor here is going to help with that. This is the actual manifestation of what you're trying to bring in to being showing up in the now fully formed ready to go so that is the masculine energy of the universe showing up to help you move forward and then we've got the queen of swords so this is where your intellect and your intuition come together and make this grand entry of en energy to allow you to really shine and show what your value is and death to the old way. So we're going to release all. There's a lot of release energy here, my Pisces friends. You've got the two tens here, the ten of swords, the ten of rods, and the Scorpio major arcana telling you to rise up above it all and look at it from a higher perspective. And the nine of wands is the burden of trying to to keep it, keep that one last, get that one last nail driven in, right? Get to, so you can let go of it all. Uh, sometimes we're in that kind of energy because we're in a place of of um, transference between one job and another. Sometimes we have to we have to teach the other person uh, who's taking our place before we're actually able to move on into our new job, um, or to learn the lesson we need to learn and and to endure whatever we have to while we do all the work necessary to move forward. So very strong energy here. For new things coming in. So let's see what we've got. King of Swords. Archangel Michael. Very strong in the energy of helping you remove things that need to be uh, removed out of your path. Any obstacles. And protection to help you move forward. So we'd love that. Here we go. Thank you angels, archangels, divine pure white light. Divine spirit, spirit guides. Gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow, to allow all Pisces, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always. And we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we've got the Seven of Cups, which is the blessings in abundance. Six of Cups, soul family energy. Three of Cups. Man, Pisces, all your cups are showing up in this round. Uh, this is the Seraphim turning things in your favor and giving you a double dose of blessings. The Five of Pentacles. The King of Rods, the Queen of Swords, Six of Swords, Eight of Rods, the Sun card, hello, and the Two of Rods with the Underlier, Archangel Michael. He's right here, ready to rock and roll. So, we've got that Pisces. Energy kicking with those cups. You got a lot of cups in the first four cards. So let's see what we've got here. Got some good cups. Good cups. Have a look at the bigger perspective because it's going to seem like everything is coming in all at once and kind of chaotic. That's the only caveat to this card. They are all divine blessings within this cup. But they show up simultaneously. And that's the hardest part. Is to try not to have, you know, to freak out because it's all happening <laughs> very fast and at the same time. So that is the d being heaped on you. But it's what you wanted. It is a blessing. So we'll take it. 
Then you've got the emperor coming in to assist and bring in all that's been manifested. And you've got your six of cups, which is soul family energy. These are people in your life that don't have to be family members. They can be friends or co-workers or people that just seem to be uh, have a different resonation. Uh, they resonate with the energy of past life energy and, and, and that kind of thing because this is what they are. They are your tribe. There is the Queen of Swords, very connected, very centered, very focused. It is an air sign energy if it's a person that is not you. But as you, this is the energy of acing a job interview, being in absolutely standing in your power and your truth and delivering. The Three of Cups are the Seraphim. These are earth angels, mind, body, and spirit. And they are giving you a double dose of blessings as they heap this wonderful celebratory cups in your favor. And... The Scorpio Major Arcana, death to the old way. We're going to clear the slate, wipe it clean, and start brand new fresh. That is what that white magnolia blossom is all about. It's a brand new fresh start. We have the Five of Pentacles telling you just because you can't see it in, right this second in front of your face doesn't mean it's not there in the on the other side of the veil in the invisible from the unseen to the seen it takes a little bit for that energy to generate so don't be in a place of feeling like you've all is lost because it is not it is there it's just not fully visible yet but here's this uh, emperor who will make it so so just be patient if this is part of that purge and release and then all of a sudden when everything is washed clean this shows up you can then see it and, and use it for what it is. So don't give up. The heaviness, the burden, the struggle is being lifted here. And you're able to move forward. Now, it might you're still in the, the process of carrying it to the goal line or to the finish line. Um, so it's not like instantaneously being picked up off of you. But this is your last trudge through that. And you've got this king of rods here, which is the energy of a boss or entrepreneurial energy if you're trying to build your own business. Fire sign energy, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. Then you've got the Gemini lover's card. So if this is a relationship, it is a divine union, that kind of beautiful divine energy. It also means ascension. So the physical the masculine side of this is your physical, actual physical body, your human body. And the feminine is your soul. And the body is lifting the soul up into the divine light. And that's when I said it's the ascension energy. It's also about um, being in a place of being elevated into a higher frequency or being called to do something. Now there's this queen of swords again. And she's ready to do whatever she has to do. So she's got her knowledge. She's armed with her knowledge, the sort of knowledge, and a very sharp intellect. We're at the very tail end of the breakthrough, and sometimes it feels like you're never going to make it all the way through because that's the hardest part is to break through that last piece. But keep going. You're, in, you're moving in the right direction. The Six of Swords is saying you're going in the right direction. And you're, being, you're allowing yourself to be guided. So continue forward. You're making the right choice. This is saying hang in there. Don't back down. Don't settle for less than you deserve. The seven of rods is followed by the eight. So if you hang in there, you get the, the beautiful uh, energy of all new things coming in very quickly. Uh, this is negotiation and new opportunities that are blooming. So it's all fertile new growth. And the Ten of Swords is releasing you from the fear, from the toxic energy, from the feeling of being overwhelmed and overtaken. And that Sun card says it all. This is the happiest card in tarot. So as the sun card comes through, this is a rebirth and a rejuvenation. The universe is making a promise to you through this card that it will see it through to fruition. So we love that. The sun is the happiest card in tarot, my darling. It truly is. I mean, like extremely, extraordinarily happy. Now we have the page of cups, which is, again, we had that earlier. It is the energy of protecting your your information or whatever you're doing kind of 
keeping it covered until it's time, until you make your decision. And this is the decision being made. The world is in your hand. You have taken hold of your new uh, rod here. So you're ready to move forward in a new direction, a new dawn, a new day. Every time the sun shows up in the cards, it is a solid very positive uh, energy and you've got sun right here back to back so many blessings to you my Pisces friends this is an amazing reading I send you love light and abundance peace joy and prosperity I'll see you again in July namaste